<laughs> okay. Got you in. Okay. I think it's coming out of my phone instead of my computer. <laughs> Had a little trouble there. Yeah, yeah. All right, I guess I'm on the phone. Let me take these off then. I don't need this. <laughs> no worries. All right. How's it going, man? It's going good. And yourself? Hanging in there, just hanging out with my dog right now. She's being a pain in the butt. She wants me to play with her, but I'm good. I actually heard you made some history, I think, this past weekend or the week before at MPX. Yes, sir. Last weekend, uh, oh, actually, the week before, I, I won the uh, Texas Rumble. So feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. Who did it end up uh, being the last two? It was myself and Exus Prime, who then uh, challenged me to a match this past Saturday, who I firmly defeated once again. So uh, feeling pretty good. Oh, so you're 2-0 and on him, pretty much. Well, now, I guess he got me once before, but actually I'm three and one on him, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> you won the big match. Exactly. That's what matters. Got my water here. I'm sorry. Don't stay hydrated. I see you. So, who inspired you to be a professional wrestler and why? Um, fun story. Uh, what actually got me into liking professional wrestling was actually G.I. Joe, because they had Sergeant Slaughter on there, and I didn't know he was a real person. I thought he was just a cartoon character. So uh, when, I, when I actually saw him on uh, a match of his, it blew my mind. I was like, he's real. I have to see what this is. And uh, then I dove into wrestling, and I was like, this is cool. But what actually got me to pursue wrestling and everything, uh, actually, I met uh, Daniel Bryan of all people at a Ring of Honor show in 2005. And I was a skinny, scrawny kid, and I was like, this guy's cool. And I went to his merch table, and I talked to him. And uh, he didn't need to talk to me, but he talked to me for like 20 minutes. And it really inspired me how cool he was with me, you know. And I always take that in you know, consideration when I meet fans for the first time. I try to be really great because I'm, I'm really grateful that he took the time and talked to me. And honestly, he didn't need to, but... It meant a lot to me, and uh, he's my favorite wrestler in the whole world, and I've uh, kind of kept up with it because of him, you know. I, I kind of fell out of it when I was a little kid, and then I got back into it because of him, so I love him a lot. Okay. Wow, yeah, that's a crazy Burns answer. Drake says Bobby Burns. Yes, Bone Crusher Bobby Burns. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about that. Do you remember your first match by any chance? My very first match, a uh, one-on-one -on -one match or just a match in general? Your uh, just one, first match. Mm -hmm. uh, the first match I ever was in was actually uh, a match at UWE. Um, it was their actual uh, battle royal they do every year, the Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Stampede. And uh, I was like one of the last numbers in that. And it was just kind of a joke spot, but I uh, – had a little fun with it and got thrown out, but that was my first match I was ever in. You know, it was a big battle royal. Actually, if I'm correcting, Drake, ain't that the show you just, like, defended your belt at? Is that the one you did, Drake? He's going to answer in a minute. He better. Like, yeah, it was uh, 2014. No, no, 15, 15, 2015, so... But yeah, uh, until then, uh, so you d you are pretty much debuted with uh, Battle Royal. Has there been anyone that you've been wanting to face that you haven't had the chance yet to? Uh, <laughs> a lot of guys out there. If you want to go with just local guys in like, you know, Texas and Oklahoma, there's a few guys I really want some one-on-one -on -one matches with and uh, – one guy is actually in the chat right now. Is a one-on-one. -on -one I want. I want to wrestle Tommy Dean one-on-one. -on -one, really bad. Uh, never really, never got to wrestle him, and I really like to. Me and Drake have never had a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know, it, you have Jeff Ganton here, who I actually just wrestled recently in San Antonio. So that's pretty cool. But you know, in Oklahoma, I'd say like Drake. Uh, definitely want to wrestle uh, a guy named uh, Gideon Dane. Would love to wrestle him. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him at the time. 
Yes. Uh, it wasn't my dick, but it was on my nuts. It happened. Real story. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say like, you know, there's in, in Texas, I'd say it's guys like, uh, I want to take on Ryan Davidson one-on-one -on -one really bad. Uh, Brian Keith, guy I love. Uh, I've only wrestled him in a triple threat match. Love to wrestle him one-on-one. -on -one. There's, there's some guys locally. And then if you want to go around the world, Oh man, it's a huge list. It's it, it'll just keep going and going and going, man. Now I've noticed. I think you faced a friend of mine that I think's in in uh, in MPX, uh, Sebastian. Sebastian Envy. Yes, I've uh, I've wrestled him. I think twice now. Uh, once one on one, and then another time in like a uh, fatal four way. <clears throat> yeah, we're. He's a real good guy. Great guy. I love him. Always have good things to say about him. Okay. Uh, also, do you have any upcoming appearances in Oklahoma you'd like to advertise? For Oklahoma, I just have uh, two. Uh, for uh, WFC, it's going to be in Clamor, Oklahoma, on uh, the 20th of, uh, of this month coming up. And then also I'll be at All Star Pro and uh, Bethany, Oklahoma City area, on the uh, I believe it's the 28th, 28th, 27th. I, I want to make sure that's a Sunday, the last Sunday of the month. I'll be there. Hello, Sam. <laughs> Who inspired you to be a pro wrestler, other than the story you just told me, like? Did you look up to uh, anyone else? Um, for years and years, I wanted to, to actually do pro wrestling. Uh, I was, like I said, I was always a small kid. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I didn't have a lot of people saying I could do it because I was kind of skinny. I was scrawny. And uh, it took me a while to find out what a gym was. So, uh, but I had my, my older brother was always a big influence on me. Uh, my, my great uncle Ivan, who I love great dearly, he actually passed away before I even got to start wrestling. Uh, he was a big influence in my life. And I've had a good mom too, I can say, but uh, definitely I'd say the two that have always been pushing me was my great uncle and then my brother, two of my favorite relatives. Okay. And also, I don't know if you had a chance to see about the two shows going on this weekend for UWO and Red Dirt. No, I didn't actually. That's what they got going on. Okay, I wanted to get your little a little feedback from you about who you think's gonna win. We got uh, Blade versus Tommy Dean. Ooh. I love Tommy Dean, good friend of mine. Always going to shoot him on, but Blade, Blade's a big, tough guy, so uh, it's going to be a little speed versus power game, you know. I'm, I'm pulling for you, Tommy. I'm pulling for you. And then we got Oxley versus uh, Drake Gallows for the belt on uh, – for Red Dirt Wrestling. Uh, Caleb Oxley is a uh, – is a very powerful, strong man, and uh, I hear he's the beast from the mountains. But uh, let me say this. Drake Gallows, urban legend, he's got this. Hey, I've been in the ring with Drake, and I know what he can do. So Drake with hands. And then we got Thrash and Colt Kilbane versus uh, Gemini and MLP. I've wrestled Kilbane, actually, in some of his very first matches, and I can tell you now he has improved. Phenomenal. He's so much better than he used to be. And Thrash, Thrash is a beast, man. He's he's the heavy metal monster, man. I, I, I think those two have got this. I'm sorry. I, I Gemini, I love you guys. Good dude. Uh, you know, I'm just going to tell you right now. It's Kilbane and Thrash. And, oh, uh, also, the main match everyone's talking about right now is... Reven and I do believe it's Brawler Morrison, I think it is, for UWO in a Monsters Ball match. Ooh. Those are intense matches. Anything happens in those. Uh, very, very, very 
I'm gonna say right now, there's gonna be blood. There's gonna be blood in that match. So uh, I wrestled both these guys. I beaten both these guys. But uh, is Morrison champion right now? Uh, actually, I think so. Drake can answer that. If Morrison's champion, man, that's he's gonna want to hang on to that. Uh, but Revan, Revan's got heart, man. So, you know what? I, I'm going with Revan. I'm sorry, uh, Morrison, tough guy and all, but uh, I think Revan wants some more. Yeah, Drake said he's got the belt. The strap. The gimmick. <laughs> he, he had to make it clear. Spoilers, fuck. I, I, I don't know the spoilers. I'm I, Drake, I'm hearing this car for the first time, man. Hey, don't feel bad, Drake. I had asked the Drake same question uh, a couple weeks ago, and he said the same answer. <clears throat> now, nah, for... <laughs> nah, what do you think about uh, the new company, Core Pro Wrestling? Core Pro Wrestling, uh, you know, it's it's up in my old neck of the woods, up there in Tulsa, Sand Springs area where I used to live. Um, you know, I'm... I'm excited that they're doing well. Uh, I've seen pitches in you know, the shows. Uh, we originally I was going to work their first show, but uh, some some things kind of came up, and it's kind of sad. But I, I, you know, in the future, I'd love to work for them because I think they're doing good things with that company. Okay, uh, from what I was told uh, from Drake, uh, that's just a, kind of a new company of an old company. Mm, yeah. Basically, uh, it used to kind of be the old compound crew. That's what I but, too. So I think that's pretty cool what they're doing and how their whole setup is on that. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It looks very cool. All the pictures, they have a cool set. Well, you're the main one that I talk to the most on here, so <laughs> you always comment in the chat. Drake's being wily in there, man. And Patrick Clark fight bears, yes. Okay. Uh, I guess before I go on to my next question, does anyone in the chat want to ask some questions? A little Q and A. What you got, guy? Right through them all. Uh, Drake tried that sure. phrase one time. Uh, I didn't go over so well. So, no, no. <laughs> 2021, man. Stay hydrated. Never. Never, Drake. The answer is never. I'll get it, I'll get it fixed up. I ain't getting cut. <laughs> I don't know. I think Drake's trying to give you a hint. He wants to face you in a haircut match. <laughs> He's making himself to lose then. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess no one else got questions. No questions yet. Let's ask him more. Maybe the last some. Yeah. Who were you currently trained by? Uh, I started my training originally with the, uh, the Eubanks brothers up at uh, UWE originally. Um, before, you know, I did them for a few months, and then I figured out, uh, yes, I'm going to will. Uh, and then I later um, connected with Brian Brayton, and he's the guy that really kind of gave me all my knowledge for wrestling. Outside of that, though, I, I've also I, I went to Canada for six months and I trained up there with the guys up at Smash Pro Wrestling. And then when I came back from that, I continued training with Compound for a while just to keep everything myself going. But if, if I had to say something, I would say the person that's given the most knowledge is Brian Blake, the guy that he was trained behind the race. Great guy, love him to this day. Always love to talk here from him. Knows everything. Knows good stuff. Okay, so you're very trained old school. Oh, yeah. How was the training pretty much? Was it pretty rough? So 
So the first time I ever did anything, when I was, uh, the very first anywhere I went to was the UWE. It was a show they had outside. And they always said they had this never give up test. And uh, I, I did that where I did pretty much as many push-ups as they want me to do, as many sit-ups as they want me to do, squats, uh, crawling up and down a hill with my hands and knees. You know, it was like just trying to blow me up and see if I wanted it. And uh, that was the initial, you know, what I had. And then when I started training at Breaker, they would make us do Hindu squats. So many Hindu squats, because that's how Harley Blake race try to train you. So you're just squatting and squatting. You you better go low, because he's going to make you start over if you don't go low. So you had to keep going. Yeah. Uh, oh, Drake had something to say to you. Oh, what's he got? Let's see. What happens on Saturday that convinces you to cut your laces on Sunday? <laughs> He's trying to do whatever it takes to get you to cut that hair. I know. He's going to keep trying, man. He's like, there's money in the hair match, man. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's going to try to put you up against Father Padge. <laughs> I'm sure he we're... wants the Padge, but uh, you know, I never wrestled. Also, fuck <laughs> you. Okay, thanks, Drake. I really appreciate you. <laughs> That's one main word I noticed he loves to say. Uh, I, from day one of me meeting Drake, this has just been Drake's, and I wouldn't have it any other way. He, actually, if he ain't telling me that, uh, he's either giving me the finger on <laughs> in a message or talking about Pokemon. He's always talking to me about Pokemon cards, which I appreciate. So, Actually, the funny thing about it, when we were doing his uh, interview, he was literally organizing the Pokemon cards. That, that sounds about right. He's got so many. Michael Priest versus Little Catholic Boy. I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> but actually, I think me and you was talking about some future shows possibly to work uh, for Red Dirt. Yeah, yeah. You would mention that to me. What uh, what kind of plans do you have possibly to bring to the, bring in to the, the show? You know, what? I, 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 I'm always looking for new places to work and I'm um, looking forward, you know, to showing everyone what I can do. Uh, you know, I was... Not to toot my own horn, but I was was rated wrestler of the year at Oklahoma this past year, so it was very cool. But uh, you know, I like to anywhere I can just to show what I can do and show that I really belong. Kyle, oh, Smith, yeah. what's this? Hold on. No, Kyle, he's not. <laughs> actually, that reminds me. You get the, you do get a title match, don't you, against Sky? Sky <laughs> Dakamusa and I on March 27th at Destiny. So it is March 28th for that All Star, but. March 27th at Destiny and MPX. I'm going to kill that guy. I mean, what what do you say about that? Because, I mean, ain't he, like, considered a monster there? Absolute monster. He's, uh, he's, he's you know, got tons of sense of violence. So, I'm ready for it. Okay. Oh, Great. hey, Drake. Someone's posting stuff for you. They're telling you to bring shows to Wichita Falls. The Texas Chainsaw. That's Sky the Acromosa, man. I've never heard that one. That's pretty cool. I've actually, I never actually had a conversation with him, but actually at our one of our last shows of O Company here, he wrestled in a, a battle royal. Oh, and, yeah, I did. Put, okay. Yeah, he wrestled in a battle royal uh, for a cruiserweight tournament. As tall as he was, I was like, hold up, he's a cruiserweight? I heard stories of this thing. It was a long time ago. He's a lot bigger now. So he's he's a very – he's a lot got a bigger guy. So he's not a cruiserweight anymore. 
And the funny thing about it, the winner of that battle royal was going to get the chance to face uh, Juventud Guerrero. Okay, I remember <laughs> this. I remember this. Yeah, and the one who ended up winning was a guy by the name of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Seth Anunnaki. I've, I've been on a show with Seth Anunnaki. He used to wrestle down at uh, ACW in Austin. No, that's one crazy dude. Yeah, he does some crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of his stuff. We sh Oh, yeah, him and Sky, they know each other very well. Oh, we shotgunned Lone Stars in Austin once. That sounds like Sky, <laughs> yeah. He shotgun a Lone Star. <laughs> okay. Uh, when when did you ever decide to be a be a pro wrestler? Um, I actually started my training in 2000 and the very tail end of 2013. Uh, you know, I, I I had a lot of friends who got into it. <laughs> You know, they were all trying to convince me to do it like, too, small, too small. And then I got finally got convinced. And, it, and part of it was I had a really nice job, and I, I was miserable. <laughs> so I was, uh, you know, it was kind of the thing where it's like, you know what? I, you only live once. You better try all your dreams. So uh, that's when I started pursuing it, man. Okay. That actually makes sense. Go ahead and go for it. Whatever yeah. happens, happens. Now, are you hoping to make it like big time or are you just doing it to stay more on the indies and have more control? Well, you know, I, I, I want to wrestle in Japan. That is the uh, the absolute goal. Of I want to wrestle in Japan. Uh, more importantly, I want to wrestle a match inside the Tokyo. Game. And, uh, you know, it's my number one goal in wrestling and my biggest dream. So uh, maybe not WWE, you know, it's uh, not my cup of tea, but Japan would be cool. Maybe an AEW or Ring of Honor, but uh, definitely Japan. That's what I like. Okay. Uh... I mean, who are you looking at right now for AEW? What's that? As now? far as uh, some of their talent? You know, they got. I really like. Uh, I, I really like John Moxley. I always have. Uh, I, especially since he's, you know, gone to the independence and everything. I really like John Moxley. Uh, you know, I like Hangman Adam Page pretty well. Uh, of course, I like. You know, some of the other guys. I, big Joey Janela fan. I really, really wanted him before he got signed to them. So, uh, some of the guys are really, I'm the crazy stuff. So, you know, the crazy guys kind of resonate with me. Okay. I'd say a type of guy to face, you'd be like Lance Archer or something. Like I have a, a major victory on Lance Archer, actually. <laughs> I wrestled him. Oh, wow. Game. In a tag match, uh, uh, we, uh, me and Jason Silver beat him and uh, Mike Fox, actually. So. Okay. His dad is Luther. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my dad was Luther. He's a legend. You would <laughs> That's one thing you wouldn't have to worry about is ever going to college or anything. Oh, I, I <laughs> but uh, once again, if anyone else has questions in here, feel free to ask. Any questions? I'm here to answer them. I'm kind of waiting for Drake to pop up with something. <laughs> he always does. <laughs> oh, no, it's Colt. <laughs> <laughs> no.
That's funny, is Dimitri in his forties. <laughs> that's, that's like a old man Dimitri Moss. No, I ain't got any of those yet. No, I actually uh my my favorite bear is a dead bear. <laughs> He said I could be your dad. What is this? <laughs> oh, very cool. Uh, actually, I did, well, I did a little bit of Greco-Roman wrestling up until uh, middle school. Uh, but mainly, my whole life, I played hockey. I am that big of a raging stereotype. And actually... There was at one point in my life I uh, was seriously looking at uh, playing college level hockey, but I uh, I tore my Achilles tendon out of my leg being an idiot skateboarding when I was uh, 17. So uh, it was painful as heck. I passed out and uh, kind of ruined hockey for me. But uh, I still watch it religiously whenever I can. But uh, hockey and hockey and wrestling, and then I was also a drama kid. So mix that together. Weird combination, right? So I'm guessing you have to be either a Bret Hart fan. I like Bret Okay, so as a kid, I did not like Bret Hart. Um, I was a Sean kid all day long. But uh, as an adult, I really respect <laughs> Bret Hart way better now. You know, I, I, I watch his matches and I see little things here and there I love. <laughs> and I... I would say, as an adult, I appreciate Bret Hart way more than I did as a kid. Okay, now we're talking about this. Uh, I want your opinion on Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart Montreal Screwjob. Oh, Montreal Screwjob. I think it was a shoot. I think it really happened. Uh, I, I think they purposely kind of you know, wanted to get it off Brett because Brett was jumping the WCW. Uh, I don't think it was a work. They definitely pulled a fast one. Okay. I mean, I don't know if you had a chance to watch that Dark Side of the Ring. Oh, I love that show. Love uh, it. I think it was pretty intense when they showed the part where they said that I think it was Brett or Sean. One of their hairs got literally pulled out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Teddy Hart was a total work. <laughs> Teddy Hart. <laughs> <laughs> he's working all right right now. From what I hear, he's back in jail. He's back in jail. He's just kind of a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly... Out of all the hearts, he's the only one that I ever hear about getting in trouble. Yeah, nowadays, yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie, Ready to Rumble. I love that movie. You used to me all the time as a kid. Actually, uh, I guess I can make the announcement now since he's paid off. Uh, April 7th. <laughs> Uh, who's ever on here? I got Juventud Guerrera in an interview on here, April seventh during WrestleMania week. Very cool, very cool. So, no talking about Montreal. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Montreal. No, man, I, I think Montreal was completely a shoot. At least half shoot, but, I, you know. But in the way, the main one who got the blame out of that, of course, was Boss Man himself. Oh, yeah, Vince, Vince is kind of a... I'm not surprised. He does some pretty, uh, some pretty messed up things. Why is Godzilla superior to King Kong? Oh, because Godzilla is the uh, the king of the monsters. Just saying, just saying, just very saying that. And uh, 
Uh, King Kong is, in fact, a boring uh, ape. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't see what kind of problems you could have if you don't root for the radioactive dinosaur over the ape. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> okay, so what Huge are your hot... Huge Godzilla fan. <laughs> what are your hobbies? I mean, like, you got people like Drake that likes Pokemon. Uh, or like Tommy Dean, last time I talked to him, he was going to the gym. Oh, yeah, I love going to the gym. What is the gym so, this at, uh, about 5, 5.15, you know, this morning. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I love going to the gym. Uh, I love watching movies. Uh, I like going hiking with my girlfriend a lot. Uh, camping when I can, you know. It's always hard to find time for this. I, I play games with a lot of good friends of mine. Uh, you know, just I love enjoying life any way I can. Uh, whether it's getting out there or just being in a car, I'm always down. What's your favorite music? Okay, this is hard. Um, so I would just say easy, easy answer is punk rock. Um, however, I've gone through phases my whole life of different <laughs> genres and stuff. You know, I liked a lot of heavy metal also one time, but then I also liked a lot of pop punk. I had, we had a huge ska phase at one time, but uh, it's really hard because my whole playlist on Spotify now is mainly gym music. And I can't say the thing I listened to if I wasn't lifting weights. It's the music I want to listen to while lifting weights are running. This music gets me pumped now. But uh, I say easy answer, punk rock. Punk rock. Okay. Uh, have you thought about your future plans outside of the business? Oh, you know, I, I haven't. Um, obviously, uh, while in the business, I, you know, want to get married and, uh, you know, continue my life that way. But, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's interesting what I want to do out after wrestling's done. It's it hasn't been on my radar right at the moment, you know, because I got a long ways to go still. But uh, you know, I, I definitely want to think about that more after I achieve some goals of mine. But definitely right now, focused, dead focused on achieving goals. Okay. Uh, do you know who your next opponents are coming up? So. This Friday, I am actually in Sherman, Texas for Texoma Pro. I do not know who I'm wrestling just yet, but they said they'd let me know soon. And then this Saturday, I'll be at MPX, and I was just told by a little birdie that I may be facing a former tag team partner of mine, uh, one Michael Schaefer. So I'm keep, I think that's who I might be taking on. Me and him won tag titles together, so I know he's a tough guy, and I've been in a chain match with him. So uh, if, it's, if it's him, you know... Uh, you know, I'll be excited. Okay. Tommy Dean. <laughs> Tommy Dean, you and I will wrestle one day one-on-one -on -one when I'm not possessed or whatever. I forgot that match happened, but a real one-on-one -on -one match between you and me, Tommy Dean, will happen this year. If you could bring one old school or new school that have recently passed away, who would it be if you could bring him back? How recent? How recent? Like from 2021 till back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, Eddie Guerrero. I, you know, Eddie Guerrero was, was one of my favorites. I always loved Eddie. Uh, definitely say Eddie was, was definitely one. Uh, Hayabusa is another one. I, I used to love Hayabusa. Uh, you know, I used to watch him on old uh, FMW VHSs that I used to get from Suncoast Video when I was like, <laughs> um, but yeah, he passed away five years ago. He was paralyzed though for a long time, but I would, if I could bring him back in tip top shape, you know, before he got paralyzed, that would be there, you know? Yeah. How long have you been in the business? Uh, actually, it's going to be. Let's see. I've been tra I tra I started training in the very tail end of 2013. 
But if you want to say from match to match, uh, you know, six years, this year is six years for me. So. Okay. Uh, what championships or awards have you won? Well, uh, championship wise, uh, I, let's start from the beginning, I guess. Uh, UWE, I won their tag team titles twice. Uh, I won the UWE, uh, it's called the Apex Championship, but back then it was just called the State Championship. I won that once. Um, I used to wrestle for a company called SRPW. I won uh, their tag titles there twice with my uh, partner, uh, uh, Kai Faden. And uh, I've also won the WFC Tag Team Championship with Kai Faden as well. Uh, I've, I've won the WFC Hometown Heroes Championship. I was the very first MPX Addicts Champion. Uh, I won the MPX Tag Team titles twice. I've been MPX Champion once. I'm going to win it again. I'm about to be two-time, baby. Um, also going to try to get that uh, Hometown Heroes title back on the 20th in Tulsa and uh, Claremore. So, uh, and then, of course, you know, this past year was the best year I've ever had for anything. Uh, I, like, and voted, I was voted, you know, Wrestler of the Year, Babyface of the Year, uh, you know, I had the match of the year and feud of the year for Oklahoma fans. So uh, very, very fun to have those awards. I'm extremely thankful that the fans voted for me in those. And they, uh, then the writers, they were, they, they uh, ranked me number one this year. So it's, it's, it's been a very good year despite being a pandemic. And I'm very grateful that that happened. But, uh, you know, any, any championship opportunity that comes my way, I'm, I'm more than happy to have. Also, I won the All-Star Pro Championship. <laughs> That's a one more. Okay. Answer. Yeah. Do you uh, have a message for any of your opponents coming up? Listen, the only message I have for all my opponents, you know, right now is whether if it's MPX, you know, WFC, Texoma, uh, you know, All-Star right now, I'm on a mission to get my title back at WFC and at All-Star and at MPX right now. So you have to understand that uh, right now, as I always say, I fear nothing. And I will always do what I do best, and that's fight bears. So, always ready. So how did the Russian, uh, the whole Russian character come together? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm first generation American. Uh, first and a half, I guess you'd say. Uh, my, my father was born in Russia. My mom, her mom is Russian. Uh, and her family is the Alexandrov family, and I, uh, that's my, my great uncle, his last name was Alexandrov, so uh, I took the name because of that, and, uh, you know, okay, so, yeah, I, I definitely wanted to, uh, I definitely wanted to show, you know, a, a tribute to my family, and also how I, I, if, I try to be uh, a different, you know, a good role model for the Russian, you know, people. You know, it's everyone always wants to say, ah, oh, it's the Russian bad guy this or Russian bad guy that, you know, Rocky Four thing. But uh, I, Rocky. I, yeah, yeah. And I, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a good, you know, a good example. That's not always that way, man. So, uh, uh, you know, trying to trying to change the game up, if you will, you know. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna. Go ahead and hop off of here. And it was good talking to you. Absolutely, man. Thank and you I, wish, I wish you the best on your future matches and hope to talk to you again. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me. All right. Thank you. And have a good night. Night, man. See ya.